Hi. Now for this question then, we were given this triangle ABC and the two vectors AB and BC, which you can see I've drawn on here as column vectors. Now we've got to find then this angle BAC here in degrees. And in order to do this, what I'm going to do is use the cosine rule. To use the cosine rule, I need to know the lengths of all three sides. Well, I can easily get the length of AB and the length of BC by working out the magnitude of these two vectors. I can get the length of AC by combining the two vectors AB and BC, getting the vector AC, and then going on to work its magnitude out. So I'll have the lengths, the magnitudes then, of all three sides, and I'll use the cosine rule. Okay, so that's the method behind this. So let's get cracking then. I'll just draw a line down here. And the magnitude of any vector, okay, in this case then we're going to be looking at AB. Just put that in the magnitude signs. Remember, all we need to do is essentially use Pythagoras' theorem. It's the sum of the squares of the component. So that's going to be 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared. And if you work that out, it's going to be equal to the square root of 14. And I'm going to just leave it as an exact value. If we do much the same again for BC, work out the magnitude of the vector BC, then that's going to be the square root then of the sum of the squares here. And it'll be 1 squared plus 9 squared plus 3 squared. Remember, you don't need to put the negative 9 here, all squared. So if you do that, you'll end up with the square root of 91. Now we need to get the magnitude then of AC. And first of all, then we need to get the vector AC. So I can get the vector AC very easily just by combining by vector addition the vector AB added to the vector BC. Okay, so if we do that, I'm just going to write them out as column vectors because I think that's quicker and easier. 2, 3, 1 plus the vector 1 minus 9, 3. And doing that gives us the vector 2 plus 1, that's going to be 3. We just add the components. 3 plus minus 9 is minus 6, and 1 plus 3 is 4. So we've got that vector AC. All I need to do now is get the magnitude of it, so we can come underneath here and say, therefore, the magnitude of the vector AC, again, by Pythagoras' theorem, is going to be the th square root of the sum of those squares of the components. So 3 squared plus 6 squared plus 4 squared. Again, we don't need that negative in here. Work this out and you've got the square root of 61. So now we've got the lengths of all three sides. I can turn to the cosine rule. And I'm assuming that you're familiar with finding an angle using the cosine rule. In this case, the cosine of the angle BAC, let's just put it in here, the angle BAC. By using the cosine rule, remember it's equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the two sides that surround the angle. So that would be AB squared plus AC squared. Well, if I square AB, that's going to be 14 plus the side AC. When you square it, that's going to be root 61 squared. So that's going to be 61. And then you subtract the side opposite the angle that you're trying to find. So that would be the length BC. If we square the length BC, it's going to be 91. And then it's all divided by twice the product of the lengths of the two sides that surround the angle. In other words, AB times AC. Length of AB then is root 14. And the length of AC is root 61. So we just put those in. 
We need to work this out in degrees, so we need to make sure your calculate is in degrees mode. If you do that calculation, you should find you get negative 0 0.2737 and so on. Okay, leave it up to you to check that out. Then to get the angle itself, the angle BAC, just take the inverse cosine to both sides and you should find that you get 105 point eight eight and so on okay that be measured in degrees and if we give this to one decimal place as asked that's going to be one hundred and five point nine degrees to one dp for short okay so i hope you got that